we're educating in every conversation that we have. Well, we've gone, we've gone on a journey as a, as, as a nation in terms of our relationship with, with the natural world. We explain to people what biodiversity net gain means. We explain to people you know, the basics of you know, the biodiversity loss that we're seeing. I, th I think you've got a really important point now. I mean, I think nature restoration um, and the sort of show and tell is vitally important. Over the last kind of 10, 20 years, I would say, um, possibly one of the initial catalysts was uh, a book by somebody I know, George Monbiot. I think people, especially landowners, are becoming more clued up. But I think this needs to start you know, in the classrooms. Um, a book called Feral, which talked about uh, reversing some of these processes, which talked about things like the fact that sheep in the uplands have decimated some of the habitats up there. He, he coined the term sheep wrecked. You know, to have children uh, you know, given access to the natural environment, uh, spend time in, in proper reserve, wilderness reserves. Um, some of the projects I work on, the, 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 the window to success, the, 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 the open, the, you know, the, the eureka moment is when we actually bring people that we've been talking to for four or five months to a site where it's actually happening. And then on the back of that, there was the emergence of the NEP program, the NEP rewilding, very famous large country estate, wasn't really working from a farming perspective. As we enter this very new era where there's a bit of uncertainty about how natural capital and these laws are going to affect planning. Uh, and the owners of that estate decided to just let it go. Um, and uh, over a relatively short period of time. Um, large areas of that estate that were intensive arable, like this, um, have now become a mixture of scrub and rough grassland and thickets. You know, rewilding is a bit misunderstood, but in essence what we're doing is we're offering landowners a way to diversify income, where in a time where they're losing subsidies from Europe. We, we at Biofarm have a lot of expertise across a huge range of fields to help them. And that's been a spectacular success. Um, in some species that were in serious trouble uh, in the Nepa state um, have, have come back with a vengeance. So nightingales, turtle doves, purple emperor butterflies, all species that were either absent or vanishingly rare in that area, have just zoomed back in. And, and I, I very much hope that we can do that here at Biofarm, that it can become an exemplar for others, we can bring them here, we can show them what we're doing, show them what we're learning so that they can take that away. I mean, that, that is actually vital as a, as a mechanism to sort of embed uh, nature restoration into, the, into, a, into a culture for, for landowners, absolutely. Yeah, that's really important.